Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ebony. Um, and I used to be Ebby Newton on YouTube, but now I am Ebby Ziggler because I got married. Um, so yeah, follow me on Instagram. My new Instagram handle is also Ebby Ziggler. So in today's video, we are gonna talk about boobs. <laughs> boobs okay so this might not be for the fellas but then again it might be but i am going to be talking about the good the bad and the ugly um about my recent breast lift cosmetic procedure at my hotel after the surgery literally this is immediately after um i feel very drowsy obviously as you can see i'm talking very slowly um when i woke up from the recovery room it was quite a sting that was the only pain i was in is a sting um where the incision was i started to feel the pain actually i started to feel the pain right away in the recovery room just like a stinging pain and I asked them to give me some more medicine and they did, they gave me some more medicine before I left. And that's probably why I was so droggy and, and um, drowsy. I actually ended up getting a different incision than initially planned. A better incision, which is great because that's what the incision, that's the incision that I had my eye on. I'm very excited to go to my room and kind of take a peek. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, so this is my bed set up. You have to sleep on your back like this. I have yet to take a nap though, I'm not really that sleepy. But I have one pillow below, one pillow up top, one on the side, another one on the side. Yeah, these are my armrest pillows, and my caretaker is here with me. My caregiver is here with me. Do you want to? Hi. There's Nelly in the building. Yeah, she can do whatever she wants, as long as she is here for me. <laughs> <laughs> my friend Chanel, what a lovely sweetheart soul she is. She was my caregiver. My husband was working, but he was able to come out the same day of surgery, but just a little bit later in the day. So um, Chanel was there with me. I booked a two-bed uh, suite so that you know she could just sleep right next to me and be tending to me um, the whole time instead of us being in separate rooms. And um, yes, she was definitely having sent. All right, so this is day number two and um, I did not get good sleep last night. You have to, you know, lay on your back the whole night. Um, and I felt like the medication that they gave me was gonna make me drowsy and sleepy. Um, but it did not, <clears throat> so I was pretty much up all night watching TV, and I was like, you know what, I'll go to sleep when I when I go to sleep because I have all day today to rest. Um, and I tried to make myself go to sleep, and I think I might have slept about three hours last night, and it was a three hours that was kind of off and on. So anyway, I woke up and I'm like kind of leaning forward. Um, I don't really know why. I feel like when I straighten up, I feel the tightness in my chest. Here, maybe let me flip the camera. When I straighten up, I feel the tightness in my chest. And this is what they have on me. It's like a bandage. Um, I know that some women get drains. Um, I guess I don't have any. I just have this bandage wrapped around me and I'm getting ready to go to my post-operative appointment. Today, I kind of just washed my lower body in this bathtub and um, brush i was able to like reach up to brush my teeth but everything else i've been taking really slow really easy um going getting out of bed slow having everybody help me get in and out of bed um and today what i'm wearing to my post-operative appointment is um let me show you let me turn the camera around i am wearing a romper so it just kind of pulls up like this and i just slide my arm through Slowly, I'm not gonna do it right now because I need to do it more slow than that. And it's just a romper, shorts, because it's Vegas and it's really hot out here. 
I'm also wearing my knee-high compression socks. Um, my doctor doesn't think that I'm really at risk for any blood clots. But, um, you know, initially I am supposed to wear these socks for five days or, or seven days, I believe, and take them off for an hour each day every morning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and ask him if he still wants me to do that since he says that I did well and I'm not really at risk for any blood clots. Um, so I might not have to sleep in them at night. Yeah, that's what I'm getting ready to do. And I will update you guys on all the questions that I asked him during my post-op appointment. And I'll update you guys on all the new information that he gave me and I'll take some pictures of how they look. <clears throat> I can show you something right now. So this is my cleavage is all the way up here right now, which is crazy, um, even though this is a very tight bandage. So, um, you know, normally when I would wear a sports bra or something, I would, it would look like this. So we'll see exactly how it looks once we take it off. And I'm so excited to see it and I'm so excited to show you guys. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in a minute. This is day two. Yes, so I loved my results in my post-op appointment. I will show them to you right now. Yes, they look so good, right? Looks so good, I loved it. And um, you know, it's just, that's the start of the healing process at that point. You know, at three weeks, you can start applying scar creams and gels and I will talk about all of that, like I'll talk about all the scarring and the healing in another video and it'll be all about that and what I'm doing to heal my scars. My scars are healing so well. Honestly, like they're better than I thought, um, which is my one of my main concerns with getting the surgery was the scarring. But I'll tell you guys what I'm doing to heal my scars. So you guys have a great day and thank you so much for watching.